And what are trade unions doing? Here are some examples of good practices. Negotiating binding legal frameworks or policies. The ability to negotiate for new laws is one of the most powerful tools that we as trade unions have at our disposal. For example, we negotiate improvements to legislation on trainee ships and working conditions. This has been done in the Czech Republic, Portugal, Poland, Sweden, Belgium and France. Launching new policy measures. Trade unions are well placed to propose new policy measures because they are in close contact with the local labour force. This has happened, for example, in Slovenia to check labour market violations. In Belgium, with financial incentives for young job seekers. In Germany, for the creation of a new apprenticeship scheme. In Austria, by setting up a network of education centres. And in Denmark, by developing standardised training. Leading awareness raising campaigns. We lead awareness raising campaigns on issues such as minimum wages, adequate remuneration, unpaid traineeships and low quality employment. We did this for example in the Czech Republic, Poland, Spain, Hungary and Slovenia. Monitoring evaluating. We as trade unions are able to conduct our own evaluation of youth policies through activities such as organizing seminars, participating in expert groups and discussing the internal situation in individual countries. This has been done, for example, in Slovenia through independent monitoring of youth guarantee measures, in Portugal, monitoring youth policies in the European semester and in Poland with monitoring groups and evaluation seminars. This is just a sample of the many ways trade unions get involved in improving the quality and impact of European youth employment policies at national level. To get a complete picture of these activities, consult the publication Boosting Unions' Participation to Guarantee Quality Transitions and Employment to Young People in Europe. Available at www.etuc.org en publications.